Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert, aka Mr. Hardware, here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. Today we're going to do a quick talk about shovels. Why are there so many and what do we use them for? So here we're going to start with the standard round point shovel. Something we all know, it's round point, rounded on the nose. This shovel is good for digging holes, tilling over soil. Uh, this particular shovel here is less than $10 retail. This is my uh, economy shovel. And you can tell the metal in here is a little bit thin. Uh, the way they make the ferrule, it's just stamped. This shovel is not a bad shovel, but will probably only be a uh, uh, three, four year shovel for somebody. Could last a long time, but if you do hard work for it, you won't be able to work it hard. As you're prying and working hard in dirt, this shovel will fail. But for general cuts around the house, it's a nice little shovel. Uh, right next to it is also what's called a, depends if you're a man or a woman, this is a floral shovel. Uh, we also refer to it as a lady shovel. Uh, this is a nice shovel because it's the right size. My wife likes the shovel for working in the gardening garden because the head isn't real broad. Still wrong point. It's a nice handy little shovel for doing smaller jobs that you're not trying to get a lot of work done. Very handy. Then we can come up the shovels, and as we go more expensive, we get into just under $20, we see the gauge of the steel gets thicker. The way it's just the way it's constructed, and the handle, this shovel is going to withstand a fair amount more abuse than that economy shovel. Uh, if you're digging a lot of holes or a landscaper, this, chances are this is going to be the shovel for you. Another shovel that's real popular is the fiberglass handle shovel our most expensive shovel. Uh, everything's nice. This shovel is considered an indestructible handle, although, trust me, I've seen this handle broken many times. So this shovel is not one that's uh, really going to be a lifer, and shovels are not to be crowbars. That's the most common reason that a shovel is broken is someone's digging out a bush and they're trying to pry this bush out of the hole. Then we have a flat point shovel. This is like a small, cold shovel. These shovels are just handy for scooping up stones, dirt off of a bed, off of a trailer. Um, just for general yard cleaning up, they come different sizes, all the way up to great big scoops. Another popular shovel this time of year when we're gardening is we're doing a lot of edging. So there's a border spade. This shovel has got a straight front, so as I go in the lawn, I can go along and dig a nice straight edge, then dig out that old grass, whatever I need to do. Uh, to get my garden or my edging in. This shovel, when you're doing a lot of gardening, is a very important shovel. Another shovel that's kind of unusual is a trenching shovel. Now this shovel is normally used to dig a trench, to run electricity or a water line or something somewhere, and you want to dig into the ground, you want to dig a trench and put something into it. This shovel is terrific for that. Now, this shovel is also very handy. I use this gardening for my hostas, my daylilies, because I tend to keep my shovel sharp. I'll sharpen this leading edge where I go into the dirt. I'll sharpen this with a file so it's got a nice sharp edge. I can take and come up to my hostas and seeing as how it's narrow, I call it my surgical shovel. And I can take and, and cut one third or whatever percentage my hostas or daylilies out with the shovel without digging up a lot of the garden. And I can work them out and get them out. So this shovel is actually more of a uh, contractor's install shovel that's very handy around the garden. If you ever are digging a trench with this shovel, there's a shovel made to go down along the bottom of the trench to pull out all the loose uh, dirt. So as you're digging along, bearing a wire, doing something like that, you can use this shovel to scoop up to keep the bottom of your trench clean. Handy, kind of a specialty shovel, but a handy little tool to have floating around. And last thing we have is we have these shovels here that are, these are called D-handle shovels, obviously, because the handle looks a bit like a D. These are short shovels, uh, good for when you're working in a confined area and you got to get down into something. Now this shovel also comes in a square point, a scoop, a cultivator. So there's plenty of things you can do with these shovels. Uh, the D-handle just gives you a little bit more strength, a little bit more comfort as you're working. 